So is the fourth generation Pathfinder better than the previous? It had better be, and it is. However, a word of warning. If you like the old Pathfinder, well, all I can say is you've still got the Xterra to buy. However, if you did not like the old vehicle, myself included, if you found it too boxy, uncivilized, and a gas guzzler, you're gonna like this one. It has great road manners. That V6 is sweet, and although I don't like CVTs, this one works like a charm. The design, so-so. Let's put it this way, it ain't a Murano. Now I know Nissan may not like this, but this vehicle has gone Main Street. What's wrong with that? Last I checked, that's where the money is. Before we go, make sure you check us out at Motoring TV, and please join Facebook. We want to hear from you. Get in on the conversation for the total motoring experience. That's it for now. We'll see you next time out as we continue to bring you more stories about cars and the people who drive them. This is a brand new segment in Canada. It's growing, uh, and really, you know, one of our key competitors with, with this car or, uh, or with the target we're going for here is the Hyundai Tucson. Um, and uh, we think customers who are you know out there uh, looking for that size of a vehicle uh, will put the tracks on their shopping list.